Have you been thinking of moving to Woodstock? Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about the most important factors contributing to the cost of living here in Woodstock. By the way, my name is Eric Marshall. I'm your local real estate agent at eXp Realty. Stay tuned as we uncover the real numbers behind housing, groceries, and transportations here in Woodstock, Ontario. If you want more info or to discuss your real estate needs, book a meeting with me. The link is in the description below. Let's start off with housing. We'll jump into the upfront costs of purchasing a house. We'll look at rental properties and the ongoing costs such as utilities and taxes. All right, so I've created a spreadsheet here that uh, runs through the upfront costs of buying a house. Um, pretty much in Ontario, anywhere in Ontario here, but so in Woodstock, the medium price is 591. So I'm just going to use that as an example. Um, this is not a new build, so no HST applies. Um, this would be in if you're a non-resident, so that would be a tax that can be added um, if you're a non-resident of Canada. <coughs> so we're just for this purpose of this video, we're just saying the total cost of the house is five ninety one. Um, so obviously, the first thing you're going to have to pay for when you go to make the offer is a, uh, a deposit so and after the offer is accepted and you make it through to, to closing your your um, deposit here just gets added to the down payment at the lawyer's office. Um, next few things are, are some optional things, some things that may be needed, may be required by say your, uh, your mortgage lender. Um, so like there's a survey, three to six hundred, we're going to keep that out for now. Home inspection, um, again, three to five hundred. This one we'll throw in there at four hundred. It's pretty common to have a home inspection done. Um, sometimes the lender again will will ask for an appraisal. So I put three to five hundred there as an appraisal, but we'll keep it out of here for for this uh, example. And then uh, finally, your down payment once you get to the lawyer's office. Um, I'm going to put here a ten percent down for this one just for this example um, so obviously this is going to be CMHC ins insured um, again we're over 500,000 so that's why we're going with 10% rather than 5% um, and then the land transfer tax so this was just calculated it's going to be 82.95 um, you'll probably rebate up to 4,000 if you're a first, first time home buyer here in Ontario um, so that'll be good you so right now it's $82.95, but uh, we can probably take about $4,000 off the total later if you're a first-time home buyer. Um, again, title insurance, that's at the lawyers. Um, so yeah, this, this chunk here, you're going to be paying like all of this in one shot, uh, just a check to your lawyer or however you, you work that out with your lawyer's office. Um, so again, lawyer and legal fees for doing the closing, that'll be about $1,500. Um, and then because this is less than 20% uh, down payment, we have CMHC insurance. Uh, there's actually uh, tax included on that uh, insurance. So that'll be added to the upfront cost, which would be $1,782. Um, and then I just put 500 here, but it could be more, it could be less. Usually there's some kind of uh, property tax and interest adjustments that are made depending on how far the seller has paid it, paid up for their taxes. Um, so I'll, I'll just put 500, it's pretty, just, a, just an estimate. Um, so uh, on a median $591,000 house here in Woodstock, total upfront with a 10% down payment would be about 50, Fifty-three and a half thousand, fifty-four thousand, something like that, depending on again all of these little fees that come into play. Um, so that's the total upfront. Um, some of the other costs I like to include in this spreadsheet just to uh, give people an idea when I'm running them through, um, you know, a, a buyer consultation. Are uh, moving expenses. Uh, sometimes I just, I just put like a thousand. Depends what you do, what you, where you're coming from. Um, but yeah, if you're buying a uh, using a moving box or or renting a u-haul stuff like that might might 
total up to somewhere around a thousand. Um, this would be if you're gonna like you already plan on doing renovations or repairs, we can throw it in there it's just to kind of add that to the total up front. Um, and then usually you have utility setup fees that you got to pay for kind of before closing. Um, so those are usually about $30 each utility. So I just put 90 here as, um, you know, hydro, gas, and water. So there's an extra thousand on, on top of that. Um, and then I broke down some of the monthly costs here. Um, so we'll start with the mortgage because we're doing that 10% down. Um, I'm assuming a 5% interest right now. That's kind of a going rate here in Ontario in 2024. So we'll, uh, we'll work with that for this example. <clears throat> so your total monthly mortgage, uh, principal and interest will be about 30, just under 3,200. Um, and then of course you got your property taxes, uh, here in Woodstock, it's pretty common to see around $3,000 a year for, for property taxes. So we're looking at about 260 something in, uh, every month, uh, insurance, again, just, uh, an estimate about a hundred, you know, sometimes you can get down to like 80 or you might be more depending on the house and, and your insurance company. Um, again, electricity, heating and water. Um, so these are just rough estimates again, and, and we'll get into that a little further into the video, what, uh, we pay here for a, a 1970s bungalow. And yeah, so the total monthly cost ongoing will be uh, 3841. And this here, you can pause and, and read this, but it's just basically saying that this is not legal advice or financial advice uh, or taxes. It's just uh, just an example for educational purposes. For rentals here in Woodstock, we have one to three bedroom apartments, as well as two and three bedroom houses. For a one bedroom apartment, you're looking at about 1000 to 1300 per month. For two bedroom, about 1700 to 2000 per month. For three bedroom apartments, we're looking at about 2000 to 2300. And for a three bedroom house, it's more like 2500 to 3000 per month. For utilities, let's take a look at our costs here in Woodstock for a 1970s bungalow. So let's look at July and December so that we get an idea of both seasons. In the summer, we're looking at about $66 for gas and water and $52 for hydro. In the winter, we were looking at about $118 for gas, $47 for water, and $80 for hydro. Of course, this will kind of vary depending on the kind of house you have um, and its efficiency. Uh, obviously, the older the house, usually the less efficient, so you're going to run utilities a little higher. Um, and then, obviously, some of the newer stuff, you might get better numbers than us, um, but this gives you an idea. For groceries, I looked into the Canada's food price report for 2023 and came up with this table. I added in red the monthly cost, and you can pause to read through all the examples, but I'm gonna highlight the four person at 1357 per month, uh, and the two person example, uh, one for about 650 and one for just over 700, so. I would say these numbers are pretty accurate to what we are seeing here in Woodstock. As a couple, we spend around 600 to 800 every month. Last thing we're going to look at is transportation. Bus passes for the a, an adult pass monthly is $66 or every time you ride it's $275. Of course the costs for owning a car are going to vary, but uh, in Ontario the average insurance cost is $138 a month. And um, currently in January here in, in Woodstock, the gas price is $1.37 per liter. So if you're looking to move to Woodstock, again, the link is in the description. Um, book straight into my calendar. And don't forget to subscribe to learn everything there is to know about living in Woodstock.